Our solar system is a tiny but wonderfully familiar corner of the vast dark universe. Recently we have discovered 840 small worlds in the distant and hard to explore region beyond Neptune. This is the largest set of discoveries ever made, increasing the number of distant objects in the orbit of the sun by 50%. Sometimes it's really hard to imagine how far away and small the planets are relative to our sun. Most charts, infographics of the solar system portray Mercury as it nearly touching the surface of the sun, even though their distance is huge like 59 million kilometers, it's scorching hot on Mercury. It's hot enough for its atmosphere to be burnt away. Imagine the sun is scaled down to the size of a soccer ball and all the planets respectively. Well, if the ball is on the ground, in this case, Mercury will be 9 meters away and with the size of the smallest apple seed imaginable. It's not nearly touching the sun's surface. 9 meters is the height of a 4 and half LeBron James stacked one on the top of another. The next up is Venus. Venus will be 17 meters away from our soccer ball sun with the size of a head of a pin. It's nearly impossible for us to see a pin head from 17 meters. It's the height of a 5-story building. Even though the distance of the soccer ball sun and pinhead Venus is far, Venus is the most violent and hottest planet in the solar system. And we come to the Earth. Earth will be 24 meters away from our soccer ball sun and with the size of a head of a pin. It's the height of a 7-story building. To put it into another perspective, that's 13 Elon Musk stacked one on the top of another. Imagine you are standing on the 7th floor of the building and you're holding a pin hat. And on the ground there is a soccer ball. The ball and 24 meters, a little pin hat. That's where we are. That's the real scaled down distance of the sun and the earth. And the next up is Mars. Mars will be 36 meters away from our soccer ball sun and scaled size of our smallest apple seed. If you want to imagine how far away the Mars is from the sun, just take one little apple seed and put it on the roof of an 11 story building or 19 Elon Musk stacked one on the top of another. The distance from Earth to Mars is 12 meters. And imagine the longest yellow school bus. On the farthest back seat, there is a pin hat. And on the front window near driver, there is an almost invisible apple seat. That's basically Earth and Mars in real life. And we go through the asteroid belt. We have sent probes to every single planet in the solar system. Some people ask how we went through the asteroid belt without hitting one. Well, asteroid belt is on steroids in our schoolroom charts and infographics. In reality, reality, it's not that much of a big deal. If you clump all the asteroids in the asteroid belt together, it would make only 4% of the mass of our moon. It's the same as one little grain of sand shattered into pieces and scattered in the orbit of the ball in this region. After we go through the asteroid belt easily, there is a gas giant Jupiter. Jupiter is 124 meters away from our soccer ball sun and scale size of a single grape. It's like if you put a ball on the bottom of Statue of Liberty plus 16 Elon Musk stacked one on the top of another. That's where Jupiter is, with the real distance and scale size of a mere grape. And the next up is Saturn. It's around 260 meters away with the size of a single cherry. This distance is the same as the height of a Transamerica Pyramid building in San Francisco. Next time when you are in San Francisco and near Transamerica Pyramid building, just imagine, you have a soccer ball on the ground and just look at the top of the building. That's where Saturn orbits the sun with the size of a cherry. And the next planet is Uranus. It's 545 meters away from our soccer ball sun and with the size of a pea. This distance is like the ball on the ground near One World Trade Center in New York and Uranus is on the top antenna of the building with the size of a pea. We can't even see the pea from 10 meters with the naked eye. But 545 meters is quite unfathomable how strong our sun is to keep Uranus in the orbit. And finally Neptune. Neptune is around 750 meters away from the soccer ball sun and with the size of a pea. That's almost two empire states buildings stacked on the top of one another. That's how objects in our solar system are so small and far away from one another at the same time. Such a distances, in fact, it's impossible in any practical terms to draw the solar system to scale. A few astronomers continue to think it may be a planet 9 out there beyond Neptune, a real whooper, perhaps as much as 10 times the size of the Earth, but so far out to be invisible to us. It will receive so little sunlight that it will have none to reflect. On the scale of our soccer ball sun, we're talking about about perhaps 28 kilometers with the size of a tiny pea. Imagine how hard for astronomers to find that thing. They're trying to find a single little and practically invisible pea from 28 kilometers away in our soccer ball sun scale. That's like staying in Switzerland and trying to find a pea in Austria passing across the whole country of Liechtenstein. On the same scale, Proxima Centauri, our nearest star, will be almost 16,000 kilometers away. It's the same distance as if you put a soccer ball sun
Midtown in San Francisco, then Proxima Centauri would be in Cape Town in South America, and with the same size of another soccer ball. That's the real distance between our solar system and our nearest neighbor. It's going to take us thousands of years to reach Proxima Centauri. Space is enormous and mostly empty. We quickly realized that none of the maps we have ever seen of the solar system were remotely drawn to scale. Most solar system charts show the planets coming one after the other at neighborly intervals. Planets and even our sun are not very much big in the universal scale. Our sun is actually one little grain of sand in the middle of a vast desert. If our biggest and strongest sun is one little grain of sand, then how small and insignificant we are as a planet Earth? Let that sink in for a moment. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.